What? Not romantic enough for you? There you go. What's in comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt. What's in comedy? What's up, guys? This is Matt Watson coming to you from Tony the Transporter here in Melbourne, Australia, where it has been raining a ton. Seriously, the state of Victoria has been flooding so much that I actually saw an elderly bearded gentleman gathering animals in pairs. So I've decided to use that as an excuse to spend the night in, make myself a fancy dinner, and transform this space into theater mode to watch me a movie. But before I put on my comfy clothes, which uh, for the record is my underwear, I'm gonna use my local public toilet so that once I get back in, I will no longer have to go back out. I think I gotta find me a new local toilet on account of they just put this thing up. <laughs> I can't believe my local bathroom has a snake sign up there. I am terrified of snakes. I guess the silver lining to seeing the animal that I'm most terrified of whilst on the toilet is that uh, I wouldn't my pants. Oddly enough, the only other crazy Australian reptile that I've seen in this country was also on the toilet, and that was a crocodile, but only because I was watching Wild Croc Country on Netflix. All right, let's get into our comfy clothes, because when it comes to comfort, no pants always beats Pants. Turns out I'm a little bit too cold to be in my underwear, but uh, that's not going to stop us from making an awesome dinner. Let's uh, reach into the pantry over here and see what will be uh, see what the the chef will be preparing. This is a uh, traditional Australian dish with a uh, a European twist on account of uh, the bread has raisins, or as I would call the dish, um, what's in the Tupperware? Ooh, fun fact: people here actually call raisin toast. Fruit toast. Now, I know you're thinking, is there any other fruit in it? No. It's a ridiculously broad, confusing term for no beneficial reason. Now, I know the Aussies that are watching this are thinking, we actually don't call them raisins here. We call them sultanas, which, just so you know, made from the exact same grape. But instead of having them dry naturally, which creates a raisin, sultanas are dipped in veg oil and acid before being dried. Yet, despite this entire process, they couldn't find the confidence to call this bad boy Sultana bread. Now, let's get back to dinner. The difference between all those other chefs and us van chefs is that uh, we got to work our abs more because uh, we can't sit up in the spaces that we cook in. Let's see what this is all about. Mmm. Nice. It's actually quite good. Now on the average night going to sleep in this van, I'll typically just watch something on my phone at a volume so incredibly low as to not draw any attention to myself from the neighborhood that I am stealth camping in. But not tonight. Tonight is a special night. So I'm taking out all of the stops. We need headphones, phone, tripod, the trifecta of an in-van movie night. And here we are in full theater, stay in mode, dinner and a show. And if you don't think I don't have some incredible content picked out for such an evening, you are out of your mind. Come on. Hey, you big, beautiful person. Thanks for spending the night in with me. I really enjoyed the company. If you want to support me a little bit more than you already have, all you got to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and just send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He is hilarious. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next week.